This is a practice video for a tune, an old-timey tune called Sal's Got Mud Between Her Toes. It's in the key of D and there are three parts, an A part, a B part, and a C part. So you play through all three of them, but it actually ends on the B part. The reason is that there's a tune, a song to this tune, and the C part is just an interlude between verses. But I'm not singing it and I'm not teaching you that. I'm just teaching you the tune. The A part range starts here at the um, D marker and it goes up to the A. Okay, so I'm going to I'm play it through once. The B part goes on this side of the bridge but ends back on the D. And the part C is in the lower register from the A up to the F. So here we go. Let's break this down now, starting with the A part. And it has an eighth note, uh, pick up notes into the first measure, starting on the E, one note above the D, and you're going to end up on the A. Then there's a little eighth notes, four eighth notes that kind of go back down and up. Let's do that. Okay, one more time and we'll finish kind of the first uh, part of the first phrase. Now the last part of that phrase So basically the pattern is going up and then it comes back down. Let's do that line again, starting with the E. Down back to the F, a little run there. Back to the A. The little run again. That's the whole first phrase, one more time. The second phrase of the A part starts the same as the first, except instead of a two a eighth note pickup, it's just one note, the F. But the same pattern here. And then the next measure is the same. And then the phrase ends. Okay, let's try the whole phrase.
that's the whole A part. Now, kind of moving over to the other side of the bridge, the pickup note is the AB eighth note sequence. And I, I, I use the A here with my right hammer so I can just come across to the D. Cross back over and back. Now we're going to, let's do that phrase again. Come across to the F sharp. And again, you're going to hit that F again, sorry. You'll notice rhythmically that many of these measures have two quarter notes and then a, a four eighth notes. So it goes bomb, bomb, clap, 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 bomb, bomb, clap, 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 clap. So uh, that makes it a little bit easier to follow the rhythm. We're going up, up to the A, come back down from the F. That last phrase, you need to make sure that you come down uh, with the right hammer so you're not crossing yourself over. So it should be a right hand, right hammer and lead. So you can come across to finish the B part. Okay, let's do the B part once through. That's the B part. You'll notice that I used a little bit different hammering pattern it, because you can use the A down here or the A up here, but however you decide, you're going to be going back and forth. So work that out for what works best for you. Let's go on to the C part. The C part is down in this box and it goes up the right side of the treble bridge, starting on again a pair of eighth note lead in. So let's do that again. Again, you hear that one, two, three, and four, and a couple of times in there. And uh, the first measure of the first phrase of the C is the same as the first measure of the second phrase. So let's try that again. Phrase. 
ending this part C. Okay, so this tune kind of takes you all over the place, up and down uh, the treble bridge. So let's play through it one time slowly, and again, you'll work out where you're going to cross over in the various, uh, especially the B part. The other two parts, you can play it left hand or right hand uh, lead. It's up to you what uh, works best for you. time just a little bit faster. Uh, if you're playing this with fiddle players it'll probably be real fast but if you're playing with somebody who's singing the tune it won't be as fast because there's a lot of words to it. All right here we go.
Sal's got mud between your toes. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs>